Dan Overholt from UC Santa Barbara here to talk about the CREATE USB interface and it's from the Center for Research in Electronic Art Technology, CREATE. So basically it's a simple development board but it's set up in such a way that it makes really an ease of use thing for anybody who doesn't want to have to write their own firmware. You can if you want but if you just plug it in, the default firmware it comes with shows up on the computer and lets you control whatever you want in terms of sounds and visuals. This is an interface that I call Boing Boing, not unlike the blog, of course. And based on these springs holding up the ping pong balls, inside each ping pong ball is an accelerometer, two-dimensional accelerometer, so I can control sound and visuals. available basically the way it is here. We have pre-built versions that we can just sell for $50. There's also totally do-it-yourself instructions online. If you want to build it on a generic circuit board, the circuit itself is available. Everything is available. You can get free samples from Microchip for the little PIC microcontroller. That's all available online instructions. So if you go there, you can go to my website, which is www.create.ucsb.edu slash tilde Dano, D-A-N-O. From there, click on Create USB Interface. There's also a wireless version, which I've got inside this. This is a 3D printed object. We have a 3D printer at UC Santa Barbara that I've been playing with, and this is based on a Hecatona Casa Coron. It's a 120 cell. And inside here is, again, one of the Create USB Interface boards, along with a Bluetooth transceiver, so it can talk to the computer wirelessly. And we were using this to do control of a virtual environment so you could navigate around. I don't have that here, but this is actually a controller for this virtual environment. So it lets you control things and navigate and also control some of the elements within the interactive things in the virtual environment. If you need a microcontroller, you know, straight off the shelf, this sounds like a great one. And I love the way that they have it online for the people who want to make it themselves. All right, Bree Pettis here at the Maker Fair. And what do you make? Oh.